that everyone is doing well. You have had a presentation on FIFA and we have terminal multiplexers. You have a technology like this, I find it very interesting. We can look at their multitasking within a terminal. I'm going to start the presentation to who am I. So I'm a software engineer, which is a leader of Zeph and organize you and streamlining my development workflow. We had the Mel let me present the terminal multiplexers had the blah blah cough. Normally, I'm not going to have a table of contents, but since I'm very tight on time, I'm going to first concept of what terminals. So, terminals normally are normal, a physical device, you can display some kind of text. And that text the type be at Javier and Clavio and Trick Pare, but recently we got operating systems that use some kind of terminal emulators, where you can provide the most functionalities, where you work on a graphical interface, where will commands will text like a type be, it's a shell, you can generate some kind of outputs. Recently we got terminals that support the display or rendering the images thanks to stuff like Kitty Graphical Protocol. We only have to know what is a terminal uh, and define what is a terminal multiplexer. And in layman's term, a terminal multiplexer who uh, a tool, a software that can like manage and control multiple terminals in terminal wide. So we have to know what a terminal is terminal multiplexer at travers a definition. So we have to use an analogy with web browsers. So we have to use web browsers and uh, when you can have a window to a web browser, you can use more fenêtres. At each fenêtre, you can use either search engine, or YouTube to listen to music, or social media, etc. You et can do the multitasking between them. You can switch between them. So, head features. By default, so we can use native lift terminals. And she has a terminal multiplexer, which is filled with void, which provides the only bad features. So, some examples of the terminal multiplexers. Uh, the most recent one, or modern one, was Zelish. I can't call it in English, but I can call it Zelish. It's a modern one, which is the problem with older terminal multiplexers, which can work configuration. It's can be similar, it 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 can be you can use this out of the box. The configuration, default configuration, is acceptable. I had can Tmax, which is the one I'm using right now for the presentation, for example. Well, the most popular one and most used one, and its configuration is easy, but uh, uh, it uses shell scripts. But the problem is that they already do the real workflow configuration, and they will use them. And then there is screen, which is the legacy one, قديم بزاف, and ما كان ضمش أنه هو بقى شوية كي خد المدام. Some core concepts the terminal multiplexers, هما panes, windows, and sessions. We'll start by explaining panes. They are too simple, more just splits. So you can split your terminal windows into multiple parts. So horizontally or vertically, like this, halaka, and uh, within a window. So then there is the windows, which is uh, what the name suggests is a window that display text, and we can have multiple one, ones be uh, within a session. In a session, daily, for example, I have uh, two windows, one and two. With the fiha my code editor, or the fiha slices I'm presenting. And next, we have uh, a quick diagram for the architecture of Tmax. Now, the architecture of Tmax, the client server architecture, where Tmax server is the part that doing all the heavy lifting for for managing the process outputs and inputs and sending them to display the text. Uh, I will do a quick demo with the concept of the team 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 of the 
I can detach again and create a new session by running the tmux command. Well, now, for example, I'm going to CMOS, which is my music player. I'm going to start music library. And we will go to the last session. And we will go music playing. And here, as a power of tmux, I'm going to do multiple projects or multiple things at the same time without losing my, my, my other stuff. Then merge and create a new window. For example, let me navigate. For example, my music folder. Show me an ID. I'm supprimed or deleted. I'm stopping my music, which will avoid the copyright issues. And merge the presentation again. For Windows, then for example, I'm create a new window. There, it related stuff. Split it. For example, let me can show the ping here in my Google Docs. On their other stuff in parallel, like get status, get dev, or whatever. And that's it for Windows panes and sessions. And yeah, so final notes. Thank you for listening. So can I have to be to a presentation daily? And a big thanks to BlaBlaCon for the opportunity to present here. And Nestle interested the resources or the references they had done for the presentations, what software, whatever. I will leave everything in the presentation file in my GitHub repo. It is provided here in the screen.